Hey, what's up guys? Joker here and I hope you're all doing well. Today we are going to be talking about Red Dead Redemption 2 yet again, which is coming to the PC on November 5th. In case you haven't caught on right now, I am extremely excited about this release coming to the PC and now we finally have some more information on what type of graphical enhancements and features we can expect to see as PC gamers as well as additional content which is being brought to the game pretty much making this the definitive addition to the game and today I'm going to be detailing everything about the PC version of the game that makes it vastly superior to the console version of Red Dead Redemption 2. But first, today's video is brought to you by LevelKey.com, where you can save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro for under $16, Microsoft Office 2016 for $33, and Microsoft Office 2019 Professional Plus for under $70. And if you use my code PDS22 at checkout, you could save yourself 22% off of your Windows 10 Pro key, or you can get 3% off of the entire website with the code PDS3, or 16% off with PDS6 for any software over there so be sure to check out the links down in the description below. So after the system requirements were released yesterday by Rockstar, some more information was posted out as far as what type of graphics improvements are going to be in the game, exactly detailing the additional content in the game, and also what type of features we can expect, you know, things like 4K frame rate, unlock frame rates, and things like that, which are all going to be there, and we'll get dived into all that. Now, some of the information in this article uh, we already went over, but we also get some of the very first in-game score, in-game or in-game, in, in, yeah, in-game screenshots of Red Dead Redemption 2, and it does look absolutely fantastic. Just some seriously gorgeous visuals, although even on console, I played this on the PS4 Pro a year ago, it looked very impressive on there. I was absolutely blown away at many times just how good uh, this game was able to look on the PS4 Pro and still run at a solid 30 frames per second at 1080p. I mean, 30 frames per second, you know, to a lot of us, to, to PC gamers is, you know, nothing really too impressive, but for uh, a console running like five-year-old hardware, roughly being able to play this game at a solid 30 frames per second and feeling pretty smooth, while well, it did, or at least as smooth as, as uh, 30 FPS can possibly be, uh, it was still definitely impressive uh, you know, for, you know, aging hardware basically at this point, even on the PS4 Pro, that is still pretty aged hardware, even though the console itself of the Pro isn't really that old, but the hardware inside of it still is very, uh, very dated to us PC gamers anyway. Now, when it comes to the graphical features and enhancements coming to Red Dead Redemption 2 on November 5th, Rockstar had this to say on it. They said, new graphical and technical enhancements for deeper immersion include increased draw distances for better navigation, higher quality global illumination and ambient occlusion for improved day and, and night lighting, higher quality snow trails, which is impressive, like seriously impressive because the snow in this game was already incredible. I don't know how they managed to make it even better. They also say that it's going to have impre improved reflections and deeper, higher resolution shadows at all distances, tessellated tree textures, and improved grass and fur textures for added realism in every plant and animal. So those are some of the graphical enhancements that are going to be brought into Red Dead Redemption 2, which, as I said, already a very good looking game, which is going to look even better on the PC, which I think we all expected but there are definitely some questions we still have in our minds about, you know, 4K, all that stuff. And Rockstar also answered that stuff as well. Here in the very next paragraph, they say that Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC also offers HDR support. Yes, cannot wait to play this game in 4K HDR on my Predator X27. It is like my reason for gaming on a lot of games nowadays. I cannot wait to see this game in HDR, it's gonna look amazing. Uh, they also say that the ability to run high-end display setups with 4K resolution and beyond, so conceivably if you've got an 8K monitor or if you just wanted to run some ridiculous super sampling through the NVIDIA control panel or AMD, then you can go ahead and do that as well. They also say multi-monitor configurations will be supported, widescreen figure configurations, faster frame rates, and more so ultra-wide support is gonna, they don't specifically say ultra wide right there, but I did see it in another article, uh, I believe it was on PC Gamer who reached out um, to Rockstar to get some more information and clarification on these things. And they did specifically mention ultra wide support. So if you're a 21 by nine user, don't sweat it. You are going to be getting ultra wide support in this game, day one, 4K, HDR, unlocked frame rates, unlocked resolutions, everything we want to see on a PC version of this game. 
Now, beyond graphical improvements, there is going to be some additional content, which they had already mentioned what, you know, kind of stuff was going to be, but we do get a little bit more detail on what exactly th those are. So there's going to be three new Bounty Hunter missions, and I, I didn't play too much of the online, but at least one of these I do recommend, for I do, uh, sorry, recognize from the Red Dead Online experience. So uh, it seems like some of this content that's being added into the single player has kind of been trimmed out of the the online aspect of the game. So it's not necessarily, at least not all of it is completely new content, It's but it is going to be new to the single player, which honestly I do welcome though, because not, not everyone is gonna wanna jump in to play the Red Dead Online, especially if the economy is still in the same state that it was last year at this at this well not at this time because Red Dead Online wasn't out until I believe November or December uh, in a beta phase. So yeah, the I'm I'm just glad that some of this stuff is going to be in the single player. Is it all because I'm way more into the single player than the online. Although I do definitely plan to check out the online as well. Uh, they also do say that there's going to be two new gang hideouts, which I definitely enjoyed playing the game, and also two new treasure maps, which are basically just treasure maps you get in the game. Sorry about that. Stupid phone. Uh, so two new treasure maps. I, I usually mute my phone before I start these videos. Uh, but the treasure maps usually are things you get in the game world by interacting with NPCs, and then you uh, kind of have to figure it out based on just like like base like very basic drawings on the treasure maps to be able to find things throughout the game world. It's basically a treasure map, as you would expect. Don't know why I'm explaining it any further than that. They also detail some new weapons for the story mode and a new mission to the ends of the earth, so that'll be cool to see. And the new weapons are going to be the M1899 pistol, the Evans repeater, the High Roller revolver, and the Lamat revolver. And again, some of this content was in the online. I know the High Roller Revolver, I believe that was a pre-order bonus, if I'm not mistaken. And when you went onto the Red Dead Online, you could basically get it right away. So that is going to be here now in the single player, the story mode. So that's all good stuff to see. They also detailed some new horses being in the story mode and new trinkets as well. And the PC specifications and requirements. We already went over and they are fairly modest um, as far as requirements are concerned, as this is... Uh, basically a modded GTA 5 engine. So I would say it's not, it's not, I, I can't guarantee that it's going to run exactly the same as GTA 5, but if you take your hardware that you're running right now, you know, boot up GTA 5 and see what type of performance you're getting, I would say that that could be a decent gauge of where you could expect this performance to probably land. It might be a little bit more intensive to run as there are some more graphical enhancements in Red Dead compared to GTA 5, but it's the same engine. So I think if you can run GTA 5, it's conceivable that you'll probably be able to uh, run Red Dead Redemption 2 as well. Of course, that's not 100% guaranteed, but I think, like I said, I think it's within reason that you should be able to as long as you can play that game. Really, the only thing that stood out to me as being a little bit much for the system requirements was the 150 gigabyte install size. So if you're running out there running like a three megabit per second internet connection, um, I hope pre I hope preloading is available. I'm, I'm pretty confident that it will be, though. I think I think they'll have preloading available for this through the Rockstar launcher and probably like the Epic launcher as well. They usually have preloads on the Epic launcher. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they have preloads on the uh, Rockstar launcher as well, but I think they will. So that's all I've really got for you guys today on Red Dead Redemption 2. As we continue on throughout the month, if we see anything come up, I will definitely keep you guys apprised of any new information regarding this game because I am super excited for it. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on all of these features which are coming to the PC version of the game. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it down below. Subscribe if you're not already, and if you've been here for a while, ring that notification bell. That way you never miss a moment of any content or Red Dead Redemption 2 content as soon as it goes up live here on the channel, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Ta-ra.